everyone, I want to make a video today about my experiences having multiple sources of income. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's basically where, um, let's just say you have like a uh, basically a job or like two jobs. That's two sources of income or a job and a business. That's two sources of income. And my experiences with it already have been extremely positive as well as like with um, just paying for things. Now, I don't spend a lot of money, but recently my controller started to um, kind of malfunction. One of the sticks started on its own. It would drift upward. Now, I can deal with that. Um, and then once it gets a bit worse, I'm going to have to repair it, obviously. Now, I was thinking, oh, I got this big trip coming up. Uh, for work, pay for that, and I was like, mm, September, October, kind of need to save those paychecks, you know, and it's part-time, I'll only make, after um, my expenses of, like, the Amazon account, the uh, Adobe account, stuff like that, um, I make basically, like, three three $350, I'm going to end up with about $250 um, over the course of the August paycheck and the September paycheck. So it's like, eh, $500. That's about what it'll cost my share of this trip. So I'm like, I can't repair the controller. And then I was like, oh, wait a second. I have like $500, $600 in stock. Well, I don't want to sell a stock, but I mean, if I have to, I do. And I'm like, oh crap, I have this eBay business. I have, account I have money in my PayPal account that I'm not using. And I, I mean, I have like, I have an extra like 50 to 70 dollars and the repair to do the controller thing it's like 25 dollars i'm like bro i got it's fine like i'll i'll be ready to do it when it needs to be repaired and you know i want to wait till the last minute to repair it because maybe if something else breaks i don't have to send it in twice because i'm waiting it's got smart triggers i'm waiting for one of the smart triggers to go out or maybe another stick or like I said, the tension to be worse, but just having that extra safety net is really nice for things like that. Now, obviously the controller is not a necessity. I have more controllers, but it's a special type of controller with rear buttons that I really like, and I think it's like a, for me, it was a good investment. But it, it it's just like, if it was something like rent, right, or food, or transportation, or gas, right, it's there, it's there, I'm still trying to live a very cheap lifestyle, um, with my parents, I'm obviously not gonna complain if they ask me to do chores, they, as soon as they realized, Amazon they were kinda met on, but when I started talking to eBay, they started understanding, you know, they already know that, if I was 19, I moved out of the house, I couldn't live on my own anyways, for some for some reason, they value living on my own, like, as in just me or just me and a girlfriend or wife in a house. Like, they value that a lot more than me living with a bunch of roommates, which is weird because it seems like that's what my generation wants to do anyways, is we would just want to live with each other because um, cause we have, like, as Gen Z and millennials, we have access to each other's lives a bit more, so we, we feel more secure you know, it's like, I don't get why, like, they'd want me to just live by myself. It's more expensive. But anyways, like, it's really nice when you can see and feel the effects of bumping, of being able to bump up your lifestyle and being able to spend that money. Now, with me, most of that money is just going to go back into a business, right? Right? Saving up, buying, um, at maybe launching another Amazon product. Or, like, you know, I just, when Facebook stock dropped, I, like, invested in it. And I'm making some returns on it. And things like that, that just it gives you, like, the, you know, extra revenue coming in brings more opportunity. And I, and I'm not saying... I want to increase my lifestyle. I really don't like to increase my lifestyle expenses. Like, with with the Amazon account was the last thing that I spent, uh, which is forty bucks a month. The amount of calculating I had to do. I waited till 
the last minute I had to to actually um, set up the account. I literally contacted the person. I'm like, okay, I need this, this, this. They said, okay. My product was being made. And like a couple, I want to say like when they needed the Amazon type information, that's when I made my account. And then they needed some more later on. So I ended up, I've ended up, I'm like, I, I sometimes freak out about this. I wasted like $40 with Amazon stuff. I really didn't need, um, I really didn't need, th there's like an extra month in there that I didn't need it, and I'm like, uh, I don't like wasting money. But like, like, this is weird, because if you watch me play The Sims, my goal every time is the, like, life goal of having a bunch of money just stashed, and it's weird, because that's what I want, is I want like a bunch of money stashed, just ready to be used when I actually need it, or I actually want to go on like a vacation, or... I want to explore something, or I, you know, like, my sister does something cool and we want to hang out together, right? That, that, that's kind of, um, what I like to have a lot of money for. And it's not having money, it's revenue generation. I would prefer having $1,000 a month for life over $100,000, because I know I'm going to live for more than 100 months, so, of course I would like that money coming in, right? I mean, 100 months, that's what, eight years? And then plus beyond that's all profit. And like that, that's what I shoot for is, if I was shooting for having $100,000 stored, it's definitely a lot easier than making $1,000 a month in revenue. I guess you could say profits. I don't even know what you want to say. I guess my, my wealth goes up $1,000 a month. That's what I'll say that is. And so I'm really, really excited to see that it's finally... After three years of trying all these different things, it was really two and a half, because Steam It actually, oh my god, I felt the effects of Steam It. I was like, dude, yes, please, more, more. And then I realized I, that, ugh, I'll, I'll get into that another time. If you guys ask me in the comments about why I stopped doing Steam It, I'll answer that. But, yeah, it's just, like, work for short term, it's gonna suck, right? Like, for two weeks, for going through the, you know, thrift store, taking pictures, figuring out eBay, this, that, and the other, I think it's taken me two weeks to really start to feel the effects of eBay, and it's just been, like, working, work, and then I'm finally actually, like, feeling the effects of the whole working to sell stuff on eBay, and now I'm starting to, eventually, I'll get that YouTube check, I made mean, 100 bucks in ad revenue just to save, like, Life's good, man, when you start making progress like this, like visual progress. Of course, I knew the feeling of like hard work and it's like, like when I hit 100 videos, I was excited, 1,000 videos, I was excited. And now I'm starting to see the dollar bills. So that's it for this video. It's a vlog, but it's what I felt today when I could, basically what I felt today when I realized that eBay was working and I can repair my controller without stressing out about it. That's the summary of this video, TLDR. So, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, vlog, or stream of whatever I decide to make.